boy. It's hot. Why don't you open a window? Okay. But it's not going to help. It's just as hot outside as it is inside. Now it's even hotter. Ed, you are leading up to something. Whatever it is, you're not getting it. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Post. Who? Acme Plumbing. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't order any shower for my barn. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Goodbye. Think the Dodgers have got a chance this year? <laughs> Who gave you permission to order a shower for the barn? Oh, I think the Dodgers have got a chance this year. Ed? The Dodgers think they got a chance. Ed, do you know how much a shower costs? Take it out of my hay. I've never heard of a shower in a barn. Why, a horse invented the idea. It's called a stall shower. Well, if it gets hot, I'll hose you down. You never hose your wife down. Even if I were silly enough to put a shower in here, we couldn't afford it right now. Leave that phone alone, Ed. We don't need a shower. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Reynolds. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> uh, what do you think about my plans for your apartment building? Uh, well, I, I did a pretty good job, I think, and it'll save you a lot of money. You'll let me know. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Bye. Bad news? Oh, I'm trying to get Reynolds to let me build his apartment building for a month now. I know he likes my plans, but I just can't persuade him to get started. Know what your trouble is, my boy? Your face. Why? Well, I can't go anywhere without it. No, I mean, <laughs> you've got a baby face. And when people are investing a lot of money, they feel safer with a man who is more mature. Do you think a little mustache like yours might help me? It wouldn't hurt, my boy. When I'm at one of those meetings and uh, stroke my mustache thoughtfully, everybody stops and waits for me to say something profound. Dignity, maturity. Mm. Can I try on your jacket, Rog? Sure. <laughs> With a mustache and my tailor, people will stand up when you come into a room. <laughs> oh, begin to feel more successful already. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry I missed you at breakfast, my dear. Don't worry. She'll get used to it. Sure, buddy boy. <laughs> Start lathering up. Look, when I make up my mind... She changes it. <laughs> Look, Edward. And stop calling me Edward. I feel like I'm wearing short pants. Nobody changes Wilbur Post's mind. Ah. I am master of my own home. Ah. This mustache stays where it is. Ah. The day anybody gets me to shave this mustache off, that is the day you will get your stall shower. Wilbur. Ha! Ah. Buddy boy. What? I take a size 38 shower cap. My dear, how do you think I'd look with long sideburns setting off my mustache? Like a St. Bernard. <laughs> For all I care, you... Wilbur, you've come home. <laughs> mm. Mm. I've been away a lot longer than I thought. Why did you change your mind? Well, I paid $2 for our marriage license, and it was going to waste. Ed! Ed! Ed, I just got the Reynolds apartment deal the hard way, without a mustache. Oh, good. Hand me a towel. One towel, coming up. Thanks for watching.